One of the best things about MIDI keys is this new concept called an LMS file. Gospel musicians and gospel keyboard, we've been coming out with uh, instructional DVDs and many of our instructional DVDs uh, involve showing the keys being lit on the screen. Well, at the same time, uh, a lot of you ask for that special technology to allow you to display keys on the screen and to be able to teach. Many of you are teachers. So the purpose of LMS is that you can create an LMS file that contains MIDI and audio at the exact same time and just be able to send a lesson to your students or to allow us to create lessons to send to you. And let me show you an example of this LMS file. Here's an LMS file right here. .lms, just drag it, and as you can see, the kind, it shows up as a lesson file. Uh, this is a video that we did with a piano bishop, and he did uh, When You Wish Upon a Star, and here's his LMS technology, um, him uh, doing a teaching through the LMS technology, and let's load it. Now, when you load it, as you notice, it automatically went to the key that's it, that it's in, and it automatically went to a tempo. Okay. So uh, added to that would be just descending from F sharp. F sharp, big octaves again, octaves with the fifth in between them, the fifth of that octave in between them. Let's turn it okay. up a little bit. All the way down. F sharp, F, E. And then you go down to D. Then you come down to C. And you just hold the octave without the fifth in between once you get the beat. Now, what you're noticing here is a is Piano Bishop actually teaching you, and you can actually slow down the audio and the MIDI at the exact same time of an LMS file. Notice the BPM changed to 150 because the BPM is embedded in the MIDI file. So you have a MIDI and an audio file at the same time. So let's uh let's change this to a a road sound. Let's continue. E flat. It's about time you had that fifth since it's so low. It just sound kind of muddy. So I, I take out that fifth and just keep it octaves uh in your left hand. Okay. So let's put that together. Okay. That's what's happening in your left hand. Now. As you can see, maybe he's going a little too fast, and you're a new beginner, and you say, man, this guy is teaching entirely too fast. Let's take the BPM down to 110. Now, what I just did, I slowed down the audio and the MIDI of this lesson. Let's hear what it sounds like. Right hand <clears throat> would uh, be the same uh, changes as your left hand, okay? First one is a major separation, but after that it's a minor separation, okay? All minor separations. All the way down, okay? That's be the easiest way to explain it without calling it out note for note. Now, just like we did before, hey, he's teaching this and I don't like this particular key. I'm going to change the key to something I like. Okay, let's keep going. Doing these octave uh, flams all the way down. Now that's pretty low because they decided to take it uh, a different way. So instead of going down minus four, you can actually go uh, up some more keys. So let's take it up a, a little bit. Let's let's go to plus three, four. Now remember, it's not going to be perfect because audio has its formats, and and sometimes you can go high and it sounds like a little chipmunk. But we've done a pretty good job with MIDI keys and. Uh, maintaining the format so let's we, we've just changed the key we we said okay I love this lesson but I don't like he's going too fast so I slowed it down to 110 and I don't like the key remember 
in embedded in this LMS file is the MIDI and the audio. The possibility is for you as a teacher to be able to send your students one single file or upload a, a file to the server and allow them to download it. That way you'll be able to have students around the world and all you have to do is send them a file. Imagine the possibilities. Or imagine the possibilities of, hey, Jamal, I, I want a particular lesson and I don't want to go through the rigmarole of, of going through all these video cameras and all this technology. All I have to do is record my audio and MIDI and I can send you a file of everything I'm playing in detail. Let's hear this. We changed the key and we slowed it down. All the way down. <clears throat> you do a major separation on the octave with your right hand versus the octave on your left hand. A, a, a major third separation. Then after that, it's minor thirds all the way down. Okay? That's a minor third separation. So, okay, so you have like a diamond in the sky. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> so, as you can see, we were able to slow down. We The tempo was 150. And, and even if, say he's still going too slow, and you're like, man, this guy is teaching entirely too fast. We could take it down. Let's take it down to 90 and actually be taught in... A little lower tempo. Okay. So that's how you do that change. Okay. And then you have, once you get all the way down, you have this chord. My big version again. Now remember, now remember at the same time you can change your split key. C4. Let's change that. So we can kind of get a relative uh, location of where the left and the right hand is. If you can't hold that, you simply hold B flat and just the D instead of holding B flat, F here, and D all in the left hand like I do. So it's up to how your spread works. So if you want to flam it, if your hand's not big enough, you can... You know, flam it and then hold the pedal to run. A good friend of mine does it that way, okay? So everything you can do with MIDI, with changing the sound and changing the channel, changing the split keys and the transpose, you can do with this LMS file along with now notice that uh, for you technology geeks out there the the key change of the audio is changing exactly with the MIDI so this type of technology is 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 awesome especially for teachers and students to be able to exchange these dot LMS live MIDI sync we call it live MIDI sync because you have a live way to sync the MIDI and the audio together for an awesome lesson. It's kind of similar to GarageBand's lessons, but uh, you don't get that much flexibility. With this, you have uh, LMS files for every platform for Linux. Uh, we're coming out with Linux, Windows, and Mac, and you can exchange files between different operating systems. You can upload files if you're a teacher, and to be able to send these files to uh, to your students is, is invaluable. So there you have it. LMS file with MIDI keys. Let's go back to one. I think he was at 150. Let's go to 130 BPM. Here you are. MIDI keys and it's LMS files. Let's let's see some more of this lesson. So, you can just do it like that. Either way you're holding that A flat diminish in your right hand. Fatten it up with your left hand, okay? Whether you're doing this or whether you're doing that, okay? That's the next chord. So you have right to that chord again, the simple chord. <laughs> 
Simple E flat. And there you have it. MIDI keys with the LMS technology. The possibilities are endless for teachers and students with MIDI keys and this new LMS technology that we're offering to you.